have points or you have a factory electronic ignition, you could use something like this right here. It takes the place of, uh, of using a special distributor. You can use a factory distributor with this. And what this is, it's not only an ignition system, it's also a manual timing control. And this mounts inside your car. And as you're driving and you get on a throttle, you can actually lay the timing back anywhere from, from, from zero to 15 degrees while you're on the throttle. So when you launch off the line, you might want your full advance and you can mount this by your shift lever. And as you go and you need a little bit more uh, retard in the, in the uh, ignition system, you can lay the timing back a little bit and it helps the motor. So you really don't want to over advance the motor because uh, you can really have detonation problems and uh, really damage the motor. All right, another aspect of ignition are spark plugs. You know, there's all kinds of different types of spark plugs and heat ranges and things like that. You know, general rule of thumb, performance engines like to use a colder spark plug. And that just means what temperature the spark plug itself is going to run at. You know, there's a misconception that you've probably heard out there that, you know, if you run too hot of a spark plug, it'll make the engine run hot. And that's wrong. Uh, spark plugs don't have any heat to them. You know, I mean, they, they're just a, a place for the spark energy to jump a gap. And that's, that's all it's for. The engine heat heats the spark plug, not the other way around, okay? So a hot spark plug or a cold spark plug is not going to make your engine run colder or hotter. It has nothing to do with that. The engine's going to run at whatever temperature the combustion inside with the cylinder pressures and the fuel, the uh, compression, all that kind of stuff, and the heat that's happening in the cylinder is how hot it's going to heat the spark plug. A cold spark plug, though, is more of a solid core inside, and it doesn't allow too much heat to build up inside the plug. So let's look at a couple plugs right here. These two plugs right here are very similar. What they are, though, is one's an extended electrode and one is a standard electrode. And what that means is, you know, on a lot of supercharged engines, you don't want to use extended electrode spark plugs. And that's this one right here. This one right here is an extended electrode. You can see it actually sticks up a little higher than this one. And reason being is, you've got high cylinder pressures and high heat in a supercharged motor. And that electrode, the very tip of this electrode right here, this tip can start getting overheated and start glowing. Well, then you have uh, pre-ignition or detonation problems. So a lot of times on, on supercharged engines will run non-extended tip electrodes. So let's go on down the line. Um, spark plugs also are not just for heat ranges, it'll also show you jetting. And if you have too cold of a spark plug, what will happen is the heat of the plug doesn't get warm enough to burn off carbon deposits or oil deposits that build up on a plug. And remember, supercharged engines have wider piston uh, skirt clearances, wider ring gaps, and things like that. So you are going to get a little bit of oil up in there, and that's normal. That's okay, because you have to have some place for that metal to expand and have a place to go. But with that, though, you've got to be careful of the, of the heat ranges and jetting on a spark plug. If you get one that's too cold, uh, it could look like this, okay? That's too rich. It's all black. It's, it's all carbon on there. That engine was either running too rich or the spark plug is too cold. So when you're jetting for superchargers, you've got to look at your spark plugs, and if you see it black and sooty like that, that's telling you there's too much fuel in there. On the other hand, though, we come over to this one. If you get it too hot, this is what can happen. This was an extended tip electrode right here, and you can see there's not much left of it right there. It's burned off.